Hey everyone, welcome back to Possible Audio. This week we're going to rebuild the pre-amplifier board on the Marantz 1060. It's a short video, so let's get to it. The uh, P400 pre-amplifier board. All of the orange ones are audio grade capacitors. We're going to be using WEMA films. And um, I'm going to replace all of the electrolytics, and I'm going to probably replace all of the uh, transistors. These two large green films. I'm probably going to do something special with that later. Let's get started by grabbing our soldering wick and removing parts. I'm getting this side of the board desoldered. And after I finish desoldering this side, then I'll do this side. One side's a mirror image of the other. And it just makes it easier because right now on this side, I have to keep looking at a picture of the top side of the board and then figuring out which soldering joints need to be desoldered. So let me get that finished and then we will move over here. Here's the parts out of the right channel plus the main power can. And this uh, ceramic, I believe that's a ceramic capacitor, has uh, had two of the uh, collectors on two of the transistors connected. And I guess that was to prevent an oscillation problem. I'm not sure. But we're going to experiment with that. I'll probably leave it out and just see what happens. And so this is what it looks like. I had to detach this ground strap because the negative lead of the main power can was connected to it. Right here I have a, a damaged trace right there. I gotta do a little repair on that, it's not a big deal. As you can tell, I got all the parts removed and now I've gotta do a little bit of cleaning. And once I get all this glue off the board, then we'll start popping our new parts in. I decided to use a little isopropyl alcohol, 99%, and a small brush I picked up at the hardware store and paper towels. And I just kind of would wet the brush and scrub around on the back of the board then dab it up with the paper towel. Just trying to get all the flux off that I can. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything, but this way it, it looks a lot better and I can see the solder work. Um, you know, much better because it's not covered in flux. So I cleaned that the best I could. If the board was out, um, these edges would be clean as well, but I'm trying not to make a mess. So that's how that looks. And I did a little, I did a little repair right there. I think it turned out really nice. All the parts are straight. And, but there was a ceramic connecting the collectors on these two transistors on each side and i'm going to leave those ceramics out and just give it a try see what happens if there's a problem we'll just put them back in which i can put them in on the bottom side which i think will look better but maybe we won't even need them i called up a friend of mine that knows a lot more about this than me and he asked me he goes are you using wemas and i said well i like wemas and i thought here we go he goes we well, got to make this modification it'll change everything he goes it'll sound Amazing. So this is what we came up with. And I mean, they fit perfect. So here's all the parts that have been removed. That's what it looks like. And, and um, yeah, um, we're going to give it a test and see how it sounds. we got our dim bulb in place. And um, I got my CD player right here. So let's... Get this running that way. And I got the power switch on. So this, we want it to go bright and then go out. So let's see here. All right, that's a good sign. If that was lit up bright, we'd have problems. And I hear music out of both speakers. So I would say, I would say we're good. I'm going to sit here and let this play for a little while and I will uh, see y'all in another video. Thanks for being here.